And now to the star who makes our eyes clear and our hearts <laughs> full in his breakout Emmy-winning role as Coach Taylor in the hit series Friday Night Light. Kyle Chandler went on to star in the Netflix series Bloodline, where he teetered between good cop and bad cop, and then he hit the big screens and blockbusters, and you know them all, Argo, The Wolf of Wall Street. <sighs> now you can find <laughs> Kyle in a new film, The Midnight Sky. Take a look. 20 years ago, Kath and I, we used to talk about the risks, certain amount of dangers involved, and we took that into account. I was the one that was supposed to be at risk. And I was supposed to be safe. What? Wow. <laughs> we are so into what? you. You have no idea. <laughs> Hey, guys. How are you? Good morning. Hi. How are you? Morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. This... I'm, I'm doing very good. Well, yes. Good. We are so happy you're here, and we can't help but start with the obvious, and yes. that is that gorgeous, beautiful beard. kind of silver <laughs> fox beard look you've got going on. Mm. I, I like how you say that. Mm. My wife calls it other things, but silver fox <laughs> sounds pretty good. What does she say? She's ready for it to go away? Oh, she calls it things I won't mention on television. Not this early in the morning. <laughs> now, no, she she kind of likes it now. It's past the stage of uh, of uh, oh, there goes, there goes my mug. Um, it, it's this has been a crazy morning. Um, yeah, no, it's it's silver foxy, and I'm a lot smarter for it. Now, are you growing it because you've got a role coming up, or are you growing it just because you enjoy it? No, there's a there's a, a role. Um, it was something that was supposed to shoot in uh, November, and uh, I was asked to let it to to let my my facial hair grow, and then it got it got moved on down the line. So <laughs> no one called me, and I just let it grow. And so now, I mean, it's sort of it's sort of what it is. Uh, Miracle Grow works really well too. I put that on there. It boosted it. Now, are you in Texas by a fire at a ranch? Is that what we hear? On a leather chair? <laughs> I, I am, and my wife is at my feet cleaning up a broken what? coffee mug and coffee. Well, she is. Can, can we see her? Can we say hi to her? Oh, she'd kill me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> it's a little early. She just gave me the look of death. Don't oh, I know. You dare. I know the, by the way, <laughs> it's not going to be long before you guys are empty nesters. How are you feeling about that? Oh, that's been very interesting. Um, Sawyer is, uh, so she did her, her first year um, virtually, uh, her first semester. And um, so it, it's been very interesting. I, for me, it's, for my wife and I, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, we happen to, I like the kid. Uh, I enjoy her. <laughs> and, um, but for her, it's, um, she's so ready. She's so ready to get out. Mm -hmm. She's so excited. Uh -oh. about the adventure, the next adventure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's kind of, I think it's very tough on her to, uh, she, she was stepping into adulthood and all of a sudden she got yanked back. Yeah. Well, so that's kind of, that's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, this that's movie is, yeah. we're into it. We've mm -hmm. seen some trailers. It is really, really thoughtful. And you play an astronaut. Is this mm -hmm. something you, this is not the first time you've played an no, astronaut. It is not. So you must be getting good at it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> um, this this is not the first time I've played an astronaut, but it's the first time I've been in space. Oh, um, and uh, this was a great this was a great show. You know, we we started shooting this. It's, but the basic story of this film is that uh, there's a there's a scientist on Earth, and he's trying uh, desperately to stop a crew from returning from space after a multi year journey because there is a global catastrophe that's taken place. Ooh. And so when we finished, and I know that sounds familiar, but when we yes. finished shooting this film, we thought we shot one deal. And then 10 months later, what, with the pandemic and everything, mm -hmm. unfortunately, the film has taken on a, a whole different mm -hmm. meaning. It's, it's, it's so interesting. It's a great lesson in, in how films, when they're released, how timing mm -hmm. is, uh, can be so important in so many different ways. But as I say, unfortunately, however, uh, it did take on uh, the, the themes of the movie of been accentuated greatly due to the the facts on the ground. Yeah. Um, we only have a couple of seconds, but do we have time to play yes. a quick game? Can we play yeah. this game, Red, on the web? Red, we want to know if any of these things uh, are true, because we think most of them are. We found these facts. Okay. So All right. Here's the first one. Okay. okay. Uh, true or false? You worked as a volunteer firefighter in Texas. Yes, ma'am. True. True. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. 
true or false, your family raised Great Danes and you spent a lot of time traveling to dog shows as a kid. My mother and father raised Great Danes for over 40 years, yes. All right, uh, speaking of dogs, uh, you met your wife at a dog park 25 years ago? Yeah, you know the one right below the uh, Hollywood sign. Oh, the awesome. Hollywood sign. Okay, this one we didn't yeah. read, but we found this photo from back in the day. Let's take a look at it, and no, can I'm you scared. recreate this smile? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I, you know what? I cannot recreate that, <laughs> and I have no idea what I was doing, but I, uh, but I look good doing it. You yeah, sure, sure do, did. and you really I mean, haven't look aged. At those not at all. <laughs> Kyle, thank you God so much. You. All right. Guys, Thanks so much. The hey, thank you and happy new year to everyone. Oh, happy new thank year. Thank you too. so much. Thanks, Kyle. Kyle. The Midnight Sky starts streaming on Netflix on December 23rd.